Hello, horror fans, and welcome back to Dalmare. In the last episode, we went into some mysterious part of the factory, and we unlocked a crowbar. So we're going to hopefully get that today and see about taking those boards off the wall. That room with the boxes. I still can't shake it. There were so many, stacked, but none of them seemed ready to ship. They just sat there, as if they were meant to stay. I should have run the moment I got out. Every part of me was screaming to leave this place for good. But here I am, back again, like something's pulling me in. Why do I keep coming back? Late again, aren't you? Now get to work. You're already behind. Yeah, well, I'm going to be more behind me as I'm going to go ahead and use that crowbar here in a minute. Guess you're here today, so that's sort of an annoyance, but sort of have a feeling you might not notice me using the crowbar anyways. I'm going to check everywhere to see if there's any notes or anything that I can find, just in case. No, no note for me in there. All right. Nothing there. Or in there. A new defect has been discovered. Some of the dolls contain foreign objects. I've installed a special x-ray machine for you to detect these. It's not clear which dolls are defective, so you better check them all. I will contact you today. The director must not notice anything. Don't be scared. Yeah, alright. Guess this is our motivator. Success comes to those who don't ask for a break. Alright, well, I mean, that is true motivation. Hey! It tried to steal my crowbar. I'll be right back there, Mr. Director. I just gotta go uh, check to make sure I parked my car correctly. Ah. There we go. Break into the director's office. Ah, so that's where I am. What are you doing? I just... I wanted to... Enough. You are still breathing just because I think you might be somewhat useful. I... I understand. I wonder why you can still speak and act on your own. But with this stuffed doll, you're completely under my control. Now go away. Make sure the new guy ends up in the disposal. Otherwise, it will be you. Ooh. So maybe place that there. Said something about the doll. Subject 45, assessment ongoing. Subject shows promis promising traits but retains some independent thought. Further conditioning required to ensure full compliance. Prospects, moderate potential, continued observation needed. Alright, so the directors... Who knows where? Subject exhibits ideal characteristics with no significant resistance. Transition is expected to proceed smoothly. Prospects, high potential, no further intervention required. So that was 46. This is 45. Am I 46 then? Yeah, this thing is creepy. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, there's a note here. That doll looked like me. 
My face, my features, everything. I threw it into the disposal. The rector didn't comment on it. Interesting. Get that place opened up. Alright, so I guess we unlocked everything we can there, really. Oh, here's another note. The door shutting made me jump so badly sometimes. No one knows about the factory. No one even heard about it. These dolls aren't being sold anywhere. Sweet cheeks. Is this place even real? Oh, great. So here's the x-ray machine. Place a doll inside the x-ray machine. Press one of the green buttons to make a shot. Use the same buttons to rotate the doll. Make sure there are no foreign objects inside the doll. Alright. Haven't had a custom order, really. I mean, we had the one for the... Hey, my note went away. Interesting. Wonder do those just disappear at points? Alright, well, I really guess I should get to work. We've sort of beaten around the bush a bit today. Get that sort of evened out there. Alright, it's got its fingers. Clothes look okay. What are you. said something appropriate. Uh, yeah, it's got a bone in it there. So that's no good. I think I have to throw that away. Yep, alright. So I guess I should x-ray first before I really analyze it. Because if it's got an issue there, then it's just move on to the next one. Think that's okay? The only one I'm not sure of is by the head there, but I think that's allowed. Definitely didn't have a bone down the middle of it, so... Cute little pumpkin outfit here, perfect for Halloween. Alright, I think this one's good. Nice. I'm not as stressed about it today because I got the perfectionist thing yesterday, so... Oh, those eyes are entirely wrong. Yeah, that one goes in the garbage. Okay, definitely heard a noise. Cannot use right now. That was very nice. Alright, oh, oh, there we are. Just I had misplaced her. Alright, she seems good in there. And she seems good overall. Still not sure what that noise was. Okay, yeah, that one says something not appropriate, so that goes in the garbage. Sort of curious as to how many days there are going to be. I think there was an achievement for five days, so this is day four, so still got one more left. We'll see how it goes, I guess. Got an order in. Safety protocol. Caution. Disregard any familiar voices calling from dark corners. Your loved ones are not here. Oh, well that's just creepy. Very cool safety protocol though. 
as I said, I mean, for a game that has basically said there aren't going to be the jump scares and there aren't going to be uh, monsters chasing you, I'd say this thing's doing pretty dang good at setting an atmosphere that's really good. I appreciate it. It's horror without the uh, sort of stereotypical horror of a video game. But yeah, this one looks good. Oh. Sorry, boss. Well, I got the perfectionist the last time, so. Oh, well. I missed one. Alright, five fingers. Five fingers. Looks okay. Seems okay that way. Yeah, this one has a heart in it. That goes away. <sighs> yeah, I really stressed in the last episode trying to make sure that I did not uh, miss any because I really wanted that perfectionist uh, achievement there. I don't know if it's possible to get all the achievements. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's not. I think I saw something about a uh, ending one and ending two. So I don't think I can get 100% on the game in one playthrough. And I don't know if... I guess it depends, like, is it just a simple ending change that I can change real fast? If I had to play all the way through the game again, I probably won't do that right away kind of thing might save it for maybe even next year for Halloween or something, because I have quite a few games, as I've been saying, that I'm wanting to get through here, and I'm trying to get through them all before Planet Coaster 2 comes out. So, if I beat the game once, might just say that's good enough for right now. We'll see, though. Because there are other things, like I have to try to purchase all the the possible items and such. Yeah, how about you just go away? There we go. Uh, but I'm supposed to purchase all the uh, different things from the shop and don't know if I'll have the money for that or not in the next day or two. Because I think there's only the two days left, so really not sure. I guess we shall see. All right, that one looks good. Oh, we finally have one we have to take and repair. Still only got the one repair needed? Hello. Seems to. I'm curious. I want to see if this thing's... Hey, I'm, I'm pleased. I was wanting to see if it had the second leg there or not. But it does not. They did a good job making sure that it actually was accurate for it. Definitely appreciate that. So we'll go put a leg on him here. Alright, now if I remember correctly, those are the right legs. Uh, these are the left legs. Huh. Well then, um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Well, that was creepy to hear there. Definitely has a creepy vibe. Yep, her eyebrows move. Let him go again there. And then throw her in the garbage. That was very nice. Alright, that one's fine. There we go. 
Oh, I didn't check her over on... Ooh, I got lucky on that one. Completely forgot to check her on the x-ray machine. Sorry, boss. Not doing my job too well. All right. Five fingers. Five fingers. Outfit looks good. Says a proper thing. Doesn't seem to have anything random in her, so it should be good. Yeah, you're going to the... It's me again. What in the hell? Look, I know you're shocked, but there's not time for that. Pick me up, please. Pick up my co-worker. I'm gonna go get murdered by this doll. That that's what's gonna happen here. Then close the door. Now listen closely. I wasn't always like this. I came here for a job, just like you. Day by day, I started noticing things. Strange things. Before I knew it, I wasn't me anymore. It was him who did this to me, the director. And it's going to happen to you too, if you don't stop it. What, what the, the hell? hell? Why, Why is, is the, the workplace, workplace empty? empty? Get, Get back, back immediately. immediately! Damn it, he's back already! I don't have much time left, and neither do you. Look, there is still a chance for you, but you will have to trust me. I will reach out to you in a few days. Be ready. I said get, get back, back to your workplace. I'll write, I'll write it off your paycheck. paycheck. Now bring me back to the workshop and approve me as if nothing happened. Okay. And I know what you're thinking. But there is no point in trying not to come back to the factory. It already has its grip on you. Things would only get worse. Five fingers, five fingers. Burned uniform. <laughs> Head rotates around. This, this. I mean, it's got nothing inside of it. Okay, we're going to approve it as we were told to. Hopefully this doesn't come out of my paycheck. What the hell was that? Where were you? Hey, I get a restroom break at work, I think. I don't know, I don't know how this job works. It's sort of creepy overall. Nonprofit orders a doll prototype from Sweet Cheese Factory to give to children in underserved communities. They aim to provide comfort and companionship to those facing hardship. Alright, so we need a doll that has purple eye, uh, dressed in sleepwear clothes, should say Sweet Cheeks. Alright, purple eyes, sleep clothes, says Sweet Cheeks. Can it be the next one? I always love when that happens. That is not sleep clothes, and those are not purple eyes. So the answer is no. It won't be the next one. All right. Hello. Hello. Well, overall, though, the doll seems good, so we'll probably approve this one. Yep, looks fine on the inside, too. I like getting that straight on look. It just seems easier to see if there's anything going on with it. What was that noise? Oh. Oh, we've got the evil doll out here somewhere. Yep, there he is. And there he goes. All right, back to this nasty dresser doll that I've got in my hands here. I like the little bow tie, it's very cute. Five fingers, five fingers. I mean, I would say that hairdo's a bit of a mess, but I think it's allowed. So I'd say good. 
depending if there's anything inside. Oh, not good. Yep, we have a spider inside of him. So, sorry, snazzy dresser. You go in the garbage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those eyes are not approved. Still looking for a doll that fits my order there. This one's bleeding from the eyes. Well then. Um, yeah. Goodbye. Hey, here might be the one we needed. Fingers are there. Yep, only five fingers. Sweet Says Sweet Cheeks, has purple eyes. Let's scan it here to make sure. Yep, that's all good. Let's go ahead and go put you in a box. That is correct. Orders all together. So let's go get paid. Really? You again? You're a creepy clown doll. I really don't know if I want to see if you say anything or not. You don't. Did I not shut the doors though? I don't think I shut the doors. Should go do that. There we go. Because I mean the director that's supposedly going to try to kill me says to shut the doors, so I should do that. So that one particularly I sort of like open because that way I can just get in there, fix dolls when I need to. Five fingers, five fingers. Close seem okay. Yep, all good. I love you. Didn't say something horrible. I mean, I guess that's subjective really, but Seems all right. Wonder how many dolls I'm gonna do today. Seems like it's quite a few. Oh, this one's got damaged clothes. Hey, why'd you open that door? Well, that was rude. You know what? I'm gonna leave the door open then. And you shut off the light. You know what? I need that light on, thank you. You just sit there and behave yourself. Really? I'm feeling like I have to be a parent here. All these children throwing their tantrums and stuff. Rude. Alright, five fingers, five fingers. Outfit seems good. Says something normal. Put you in there to check. Everything looks good there, and we're good to go. There you go. Really? They are just determined to shut that door. Well, you know what? Fine, we'll leave it shut. Not going to give them the attention they want. Five fingers there, five fingers there. Okay, yeah. That toy is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Hello. 
All right. <sighs> I will say. I was about to say, it does seem like it gets a little bit repetitive doing it over and over again. I have been playing several, uh, don't talk to the dolls, they lie. Well, that one over there needed to talk to, because that one over there was rude. So, I'll talk to the sign as well. But yeah, I will say, sorting the dolls does get a little bit repetitive. I have been playing each day sort of back to back here. So, it's fun and enjoyable, and some of the scares are really good. But, yeah. As it does get a little bit repetitive as far as the uh, the sorting. Hopefully you're enjoying though. I Anyways, hopefully you're enjoying though. I, I have been enjoying the game overall. As I said, I believe we have one day of work left, but I guess we will see. I know there's achievement for uh, day five, so I think we have one more day. We missed one today. Yep. Still not bad it's as far as money. But don't get comfortable. I've seen better from amateurs. The director is really a jerk. <laughs> Alright, so we got $740. As I said, we're supposed to buy everything on the list at a point in time here. Uh, let's get the table fan and the mug for sure. Then we have $200 left. Yeah, we should be able to buy everything easy enough on this playthrough. Uh, what do I want next? I'm going to go with the spinner. Then we just need cactus and puzzle toys. As long as I don't really screw up tomorrow, should make enough money to get those two easily enough. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all back. For more of Dalmere.